Hello and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2. We are playing the Imperial German Navy it, with the 1900 start. It is 1917 and Germany is at war with Russia once more. The last stream and the last video um, because of that broke off because I experienced something that is that might occasionally happen where I live and you this way you can experience it too and that is a power outage because I live in Panama in the Republic of Panama so it just stopped midstream because unfortunately I don't have a battery yet for my router whereas I am using my laptop so that isn't an issue but um, so this way the stream stopped and I couldn't just continue and the weird thing is I wasn't even able to save the game. Fortunately though in the last stream I saved right before the power outage so while we had a naval battle that was about to start um, which was promising and, and gave, uh, gave reason to hope for some decisive battle. Um, while that hasn't happened and while that might not even happen in the next turn we are doing now. At least we haven't lost any progress. So we are still at the same point. Um, in the last episode, we had one minor victory where we sank the Imper Imperator Alexander the Third. Um, um, a simple design, C6 13 inch centerline with only 9 inch belts, so a rather weak ship. Other than that, not too decisive results. Um, Russia is blockaded, the invasion in the Baltics hasn't happened yet, hasn't happened yet. Uh, in the Far East nothing is happening, they don't have any ships there, so every time the game wants to do some kind of battle it, it automatically gives me victory points, while, because they can't muster the necessary ships. But apart from that not much happening, and I think this this episode we will probably see the end of this um, war because Russia I mean R Russia isn't bad so they still have 12 battle cruisers and some of them are competitive like 8 14 inch guns that should be difficult and they even have 11 and a half inch belt but I am leading significantly in victory points they are under blockade so in this regard, unless I do something really stupid, uh, everything should be fine. Also, the first one of the what I call the Kaiser class or Kaiser type battleships, the Wilhelm II is about to be launched in four months, um, which is a what I think quite superior design in this phase of the game and actually one that might have a good future later. So let's just uh, stop the pre-talk and just dive in. Russia has crushed the um, the rebels in Sakhalin. Better two-inch guns. Well, not that I'll probably need it. And here we have the fleet battle again. Okay, so this time the Russians decline. 2,400 victory points for me this time. Okay. Raid on enemy shipping. Gulf of Finland large. Okay, let's try that. They decline again. Okay. Destroyer action. I don't like destroyer actions. I might actually decline this time and with another fleet battle Which this time isn't declined. So by declining the first fleet battle they gave me 2400 points and now I still get the opportunity to to sink their fleet. So what we're doing right now is we are Making the battleships follow the lead formation um, I might be tempted to use the wait this is 17, yeah. 17 should follow 15. Battle cruiser 15. Uh, I, I might be tempted to use the battle cruisers in the battle line um, as I'm following the German design philosophy of that era. Um, Alfred von Tirpitz, the rule from Alfred von Tirpitz was that um, the first mission of a ship is to swim. So my battle cruisers are actually armored basically like a battleship. But um, we'll have to see. I mean, 11 inch here. Yeah, those are eight. Those are six. Okay, so um, we, I'll have to see. Maybe I'm, I can use them in a, in a more intelligent way by having them separate. 
but I just realized we're at night. Okay, so that was going to be difficult. In two hours, only daylight. So that means it'll be mostly a night battle unless I avoid battle. So the first thing I'm going to do is send in the flotillas. In night battles, they, that's their basically what they're supposed to do, to go in, in at night. And um, I increase the speed to gain maneuverability and make it more easy to dodge um, potential torpedo attacks. And um, now I need to change course like a madman. And we've got a battleship here. Uh, nice first two hits of the another three hits. Oh, okay, F one is four inch, but those two were another thirteen hit, thirteen inch hits. So we've hit him and another two and another three. So we've hit him with I think nine thirteen inch already. Now we need to make sure we're not getting torpedoed because that is like that sounded like a torpedo launch the question is is it a, a friendly one or an enemy one that i hear i have no idea to be honest why is the hindenburg already damaged oh <laughs> one turret has blown up okay that's unfortunate so what we need to do now is probably turn away like like madmen okay oh well that's the uh, destroyer's job let's turn back in we need to be somewhat hard oh two gun wait the Hindenburg has lost two turrets already 12 inch turrets are being crushed like nothing that isn't good okay as said um, and he's being hit by a torpedo okay so now it's getting critical what we need to do now is have... Okay, he's already detached. Yeah, he is. Okay. So the Hindenburg now needs to... Retreat. Add 10 knots. To make sure it has a chance of survival. The good thing is with it slowing down it increases um, the chance that Moltke has been hit. God damn it. And I haven't hit a single torpedo yet. That is really bad. So ch changes in speed obviously increase the chance of um, torpedoes hitting as torpedoes are calculated according to the current speed. Okay, so that torpedo hit was basically irrelevant. That's good, I guess. Yeah. Um, this is like an insane brawl. I don't think I really want that. Okay, Multke is now probably losing turrets itself, yes. <laughs> it seems like the, the th what was it, 13 inch? 12 inch armor is not enough for these fighting distances. They're just punching right through them, apparently. Der Flinger is getting damaged too. I guess turrets. Yeah, of course. Well, luckily at least so far they haven't blown up. So I guess in this regard I need to be really happy about that. Um, Moltke flooding is increasing with that speed, I guess. Yeah. Um, unless my destroyers start finally doing their job and successfully torpedo them. This will be a problem. And what do I see here? The Fondaton is basically sunk. God damn it. I didn't pay enough attention, I guess. So that one is supposed to run away as well and hope that it survives. Those one, <laughs> this one has two. <laughs> okay, so this might end up in a crushing defeat. Let's see. Let's see about that. I shouldn't have been this aggressive, I guess. Now we are going to um, run away with our battle cruisers and hope for the best.
But like, I mean, th those are destroyers again. So the Fondaton is likely going to be hit by a torpedo. Derflinger is being hit. Okay. Yeah, not looking good. <laughs> God damn it. Um, it would be nice if those destroyers here did their job. Ismail is being hit. Fondaton. Fondaton. Okay. So Fondaton is a goner. That was a six turret. Yeah. So it's, it's one that wasn't supposed to last forever. But it also wasn't supposed to be sunk like in a moment, in a heartbeat. So in this regard, very bad outcome. Uh, let's try to save the other battle cruisers at least and hopefully do some damage our, on our um, ourselves. Because here we have some battle cruisers and battleships which are just in front of our ships. And maybe, just maybe, my destroyers are capable of doing good damage. That would be nice. She's my, I don't think I've seen that one yet. 8, 14 inch, 12 inch. That is a really strong battle cruiser. I mean, the deck armor is low, so in the long run it'll suffer. But right now it should be more than enough. And thus, a very strong design. Okay, let's try to... Brandenburg is being hit. Okay. Question is, should I abort that battle? Or should I risk losing more? Because I'm, I'm trying to finish something. What is that? Enemy BB is hit by a torpedo. Okay. So, thing is, do my... Do my destroyers... Can they finally do their job? I mean, I'm currently pummeling their ships. That torpedo might hit. It didn't. Okay. But this is like an issue. Let's turn in somewhat. Hindenburg wants to keep up. Ah, uh, yeah, let's detach her. Let's see, where is the Hindenburg? Fondertan, der Flinger. Here, Hindenburg. Okay, why are they racing again? I guess I didn't order them to go slow, did I? Yeah, so let you guys go down to 10 knots, or maybe 9. You guys, you guys are actually decently fresh, even though they've been hit by a torpedo, one of them. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want them to continue. And it's becoming daylight. Yeah, let's go, you go, guys go down to cruise speed and run away and it's actually daylight is coming so um, yeah we need to see what we are going to do here Fondaton has sunk yeah okay maybe those um, torpedoes hit something that would be nice but they don't but from this distance the um, the guns are are insanely powerful they should be they should just punch through belt armor like like nothing what is this distance does it show it it's like 3,000 yards now here down down here we can see it it's like um, 1.7 miles a nautical mile that's roughly 1.6 kilometers something like that so it's what is it three point something kilometers at this distance the um, even 11 inch gun should punch right through a strong armor Brandenburg has been hit. Okay, next one. Mm, I should slow it down. Uh, no, cruise speed. Yeah, you go, you go over there, and go down to nine knots as well. Should have probably just not looked for trouble right away. Where, where, where are they following? Yeah, there. Because um, with the daylight coming, I am able. I will be able to shoot at them. I will. Oh God, that one is is like seriously damaged too. With daylight coming, my gunnery would be effective. Whereas now, it's a complete brawl, without out of my basically out of my control. 
I'm going straight line here because I believe they should be safe as the Impera Imperator Peter Vilecki doesn't have um, torpedoes um, only submerged ones so the, the highest angle he can shoot is probably like this and with the torpedoes being rather slow the Hanover should be safe um, I'll be streaming this episode for like another half an hour 40 minutes and then I'll decide w whether I'm in the mood to do another episode or maybe switch a little bit to World of Warships. We'll see. Imperator Pavel was hit by a torpedo. Where? Down here? Okay. So my DDs are finally doing their job. But that one is already going down. At least this at least shows that I have taken one out myself as well. Well, the big battle has just started, or somewhat. I mean, uh, I've lost the Fondertan. It was a night battle and I was a little too bold. So several of my ships got torpedoed. And so far my destroyers haven't done the most convincing job. So yeah. And um, a, lot of t a lot of my turrets blow up. So far I've been lucky that there has been no flash fire. But um, I guess I should focus a little more on increasing the armor of my turrets in the future. Does this guy have torpedoes? He does. But I guess he's shot them already. Yeah, they are expended. Okay. So how about you? Why are you turning away? You've got flooding as well and a lot of damage. Okay. Why does it only say 42 damage? Whereas this is so full. But I guess it should probably run away as well. Okay, Hanova is being hit here. Lothringen is doing fine so far. Brandenburg flooding but under control I guess. Where is daylight? Coming here. Okay. Okay, let's just turn around. So he has lost one turret, yeah, <laughs> only one turret operational right now. That's kind of problematic. But maybe he can turn in and torpedo. So far he doesn't. Okay. Oh. And that is another destroyer coming in. Not going too well so far. But hey, that's what ships are for, right? Enemy battleship hit. And it's one that's still moving. Good. So not like what they usually like to do. Uh, like wasting their torpedoes on a ship that's already sunk or sinking. Okay, good. Um, I'm losing a lot of destroyers as well. But at least some hits on battleships now. Good. Okay, so Wittelsbach. Yeah, Wittelsbach is eating too much damage. So, and down to 10 knots. So Wittelsbach is supposed to run away as well. It's Battle Division 3. This one is following Battle Division 3, so I'm taking command of those manually. And we'll order them instead of Battle Division 3, because that one is, is expended now. Another torpedo hit. And another one. Okay, now my destroyers are starting to do their job. Good. That one is eating a lot of damage as well. That one too. And the funny thing is, it's such a chaos right now that it's hard to say who is winning. Um, decent armor. Well, it's hard to say who's winning. I think I've definitely, that one is, that one was a battleship, I think, or a battle cruiser, and that one is going down. Yeah, okay, and that one is, is stopping too, so I think 
that one should be done with as well. But there might be other ships, another unidentified ship somewhere down here, probably a battleship, but I can't really say. Okay, so let's turn sharp away and hope that he doesn't have torpedoes left. Okay, now you guys please start sinking some battleships. That's actually a cruiser? Oh. Okay. Okay, on whom to concentrate now? Um, light damage. Medium damage. Um, there is one destroyer here and one here. Wittelsbach is doing fine, but not really in a shape to continue fighting. Weissenburg, which is this? Okay, I have no idea why they don't follow those. I guess it's like their automatic um, way to protect themselves from attacks. Like they, they dodge torpedo attacks by themselves, but this way they obviously lose contact. In a way that's fine, because uh, it, it represents the, r r um, the real way a battle would have unfolded. But unfortunately, it obviously also means that there'll be rather, uh, it'll be ra rather chaotic. And why that, for instance, why this um, one detached, I have no idea. But I'm just gonna set it on auto for core for this division, so it hopefully will reattach. That cruiser is now done with as well, and another torpedo hit, probably very likely just on ships that are already sinking. But that one is getting slow. So let's hope they are doing a job, their job here. Um, need to check on those. Yeah, on those down here. What are the battle cruisers doing? It's occasionally they increase speed. I have no idea why, but at least that seems to not happen. That one is going 15 knots. Okay. Ah, what was that? Um, it has flooding, but only light flooding. Okay. So you guys go somewhere down there. And you are continuing to try sinking the battleships, the Imperial Imperator Alexander. Now, please. That looks good. Stopped. Okay. Now switch fire to Chesma or Ismail. Which one is easier to kill? Ismail, I guess. Is the yeah by far eight fourteen inch, but it's far stronger. So it would be wise to take it out. Yeah, let's concentrate on the Chesma. There he is. No, it's another one, okay. There it is. Okay. Please take that one out now. shooting that one but Mecklenburg and Braunschweig why are those two shooting or is it only secondaries yeah it's only secondaries okay that's fine then I wondered why they were shooting the heavy cruiser here and um, luckily that isn't a problem um, as they are only using their secondaries Okay. Chesma is going running away, so it might be worth it switching to the Ismail as that one is on broadside. Yeah, I guess that's probably the best choice now. Oh, where is it? Yeah. So while I'm chasing the Chesma, they should hopefully finish the Ismail. 
Okay, submarine spotted too. That's not good. That's a lot of hits. Look at all of this hits. 14 inch, 6 inch are in that tough, but another four, 14 inch. And he has very weak armor. So sinking according to this. Perfect. Okay, then let's switch back to the Chesma and hope that the identification is sinking was correct. What is down here left? Petro Pavlovsk. Three. How good are they? Let's check. Okay, that's a weird design, but eight, 13 inch, nine and a half inch belt. That one is, yeah. They are all aren't too strong, uh, but they are still going. Okay, so I need to check what to do with those guys. I might actually just send those two battleships down. Yeah, let's do that. Because in theory, those guys might hunt down some of my... There is another one here too, so there is a lot left. Can I take out the Chesma or should I concentrate on those? I guess I should concentrate on those. Because there are one, two, three, four. I think those four are still... All of them are still moving, yeah. Right, so I need to prevent the br them breaking through. Indeed, indeed. All hail the Kaiser. Heil Kaiser dir. As the, the anthem was. Or Heil dir in Siegerkranz. And so far I think the Kaiser can be decently happy. One of his battle cruisers is sunk. But now the battle is developing rather nicely. Let's see. Another destroyer down. Yeah, destroyers, we've suffered a lot of losses among the destroyers. But that's their job. Okay, whom are you guys shooting at? Why can't they shoot like... Ah, it's, I guess it's out of range. Okay, then you guys hold your fire for 10 minutes. No reason to waste shells on ships that are already sunk. Um, you can concentrate on... Yeah, why not on that one? To be careful, that might be a destroyer. Okay. Those are Chesma. Chesma is one of the more dangerous ones light damage Petro Pavlovsk light damage too okay so you guys concentrate on the Chesma now where is it there and can you guys shoot something you should be able to shoot the Petro Pavlovsk yes okay now open fire on that guy oh sorry my hand my cell phone Good hits. The Chesma is eating a lot of damage. Can they torpedo? They have torpedoes. Good. Okay, maybe I'm lucky. I mean, he's turning, but he's so close that there might be a chance for it. Ah, oh, too bad. But with all those 13 inch hits, I don't think he should be able to get away anyways. Wait. Okay. Somehow thought I had misclicked and clicked away a sinking message. That would have been unfortunate. But so far it's looking fine. Petro Pavlov's chest is being hit like crazy. And it's slowing down already. So I guess she won't be for much longer. They can concentrate here on the Petro Pavlovsk, finish her off, and she's stopping and sinking. Good. Now switch to the what is it? This here. Tve D 
Dvenatsat Apostolov class. Okay. Chesma is stopping too, so they can shoot the Apostolov as well. Or is it there? You are turning out a little, so more guns can shoot. He's attacked by a submarine. There's a submarine down there, okay. Shells, guns are running out, uh, shells are running out, and we still have at least three to kill here. Weissenburg being hit. Okay, we should check on the health. All fine. I mean, some flooding, that's not good, but nothing too serious they should look fine as well is there something what about that one battleship that was single going alone is it has it reattached can't even see i don't think it has wasn't it a four yeah there it is okay going full speed and following so i guess all fine and as soon as it catches up it will reattach Good, we are hitting them, continuing to hit them. That one is decently armored. Let me check the others. Probably have checked them twice already or so. Okay, this one is rather weakly armored and that was the good one, right? Yeah, a lot of turrets. Okay, let's first finish off the Apostolov, I guess. Elsas is being hit by whom? Chesma. I think but I think if I have them all shoot that one target, the hit chance is going down, doesn't it? Two ships firing at the same target. Uh, not that bad, but two turrets lost once more. I think I'm gonna switch fire to the Chesma regardless, to this one here. because I need to decrease its effectiveness as well. And now they're making, getting good hits on her. Okay, how is the health? Um, some flooding now. Okay. They are running now, I think. So you guys turn a little more like this. So the guy guns keep firing and you will go after them at full speed. How fast are they? Yeah, yeah they are battle cruisers. So unless they are damaged seriously, they will be able to run away. Yeah, this one should be damaged enough though. Looks slow. And we keep hitting him. Okay, let's go this way to follow them up. And I think we can go continuous now in time. Yeah, that one is done. Oh, soon, will soon be done. Wait, what? Lothringen ruptures, bulkhead ruptures, that's not good. And it should be fine if I get sl go slower. Let's just make sure. I mean, it's below 10 knots, so from what I know, it, sh it should be safe regardless. But unless it's being hunted down by something else, going a little slower shouldn't hurt. Well, let's just push up here. Finish them off. Do you guys sh still shoot the Petro Pavlovsk? No, they don't. They shoot. Th yeah, they should actually continue shooting that one. That's not that bad an idea. Maybe they slow it down with a lucky hit. Pe Petro Pavlovsk is hit by all the secondaries. That's why he still is is still going. Elsas, forty one percent damage. That's mostly the two turrets that are destroyed.
Which one? This one here. Now they're shooting that one, I guess. No, it is, it's still in range. I don't know why they switched. But yeah, let's just have them do it. Yeah, and ammo is running out. Um, Chesma is being hit by a torpedo. Oh, okay. The stationary one. Too bad. Okay. I think the Petro Pavlovsk. I mean, it's still floating though. Still going. Now it stopped. Good. Okay, now let's concentrate on the Chesma. No idea why I can't even select it. But okay, maybe it's one division, and you, yeah, it's probably one division, and I can only select that one division. Indeed, that's it. Okay, maybe we're lucky and are able to take one of them out before they, before the ammo runs out. Let's increase speed and just continue pummeling them. Just down the, this down here probably just um, destroy us something light but as long as they keep their distance I don't mind good we're hitting the Chesma we're hitting the Apostolov as well that's good okay first chip runs out of ammo but that sometimes what was, which one was it Vettin sometimes it means no it actually means all turrets this time okay that question should I have it I mean I could order it to I could detach it and have it run away but on the other hand that would mean it's it's alone and it it's not able to attract fire anymore and I think it was still pretty healthy but I guess the Apostolov and the Chesma are out of ammo themselves that's why I, I haven't seen hits on my ships for quite some time They are all, they are definitely going slower. I mean, my battleships are now overtaking them. Just make sure that they are not going to be torpedoed in the last, very last moment. Oh, there's another, yeah, those were battleships, okay. Should, so it could become a problem in theory, at least. Can you guys please take one of them out? Next one out of main ammo. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't like trying to get those back into action. Those who were damaged rather, rather um, a lot. They are basically out of ammo as well. Yeah, I guess it's then. I guess those are gating away then doesn't seem to make sense to risk my ships or something like this anymore. I'll just keep firing here until their ammo runs out and if those two battle cruisers get away then so be it. It's still a resounding victory. So far it, it went just just really well. Okay, um, do they even shoot at them anymore? Chesma, okay, so yeah, there's some, some fire still going on, some firing, those two are out of ammo, so cruise speed and retreat, 1%, okay, so as soon as that one is out of ammo, I'll call it a day. Does it? Yeah. What is that? I think two HE rounds or something are left. But yeah, let's call it a day. Go back to cruise speed. Maybe, I don't know, 12 knots, 10 knots? Why not 10 knots? Just to make sure that any flooding they have um, contained. 
they have suffered doesn't doesn't grow worse and now let's just speed up and finish the battle Chesmo will probably get away but yeah I mean it's still burning so with some luck it has more than one fire and it, it, it'll burn out it'll be damaged enough to sink regardless but I, I shouldn't expect it but yeah unless I lose a lot of ships in the, in the long run late um, while I'm retreating that should have been a, a good victory and there it comes damn it Lothringen is going down well at least one of the old um, bad designs okay that doesn't look good Vettin bulkhead ruptures why is he going 12 knots why is he going this fast go down to 10 knots okay you guys wait no train and has sunk that's not good let's go down to 7 knots just to make sure um, how much time is left yeah battle should be over soon and let's hope the, the rest of them at least gets away so if I haven't miscalculated we lost two. Oh, we actually lost three okay but <laughs> we lost we sunk three battleships and seven battle cruisers god damn it that's a lot major victory damage is 350,000 to 750,000 yeah I think that's fine probably gonna lose some prestige regardless because the Kaiser is unhappy to prestige no he doesn't complain he usually complains when you lose too many ships even if you win a battle and even if you win it quite convinced convincingly okay let's check which ships have we lost well that is sad because that was a good design that is really annoying 14 inch guns 4 inch deck 12 and a half belt so that was one of those designs that had a future that one I don't really mind too much and the Fondertan was expendable too okay yeah it was one of those good Mecklenburg designs oh well can't do anything about it now um, now 1500 tons good convoy attack we accept and they shouldn't be able to engage and another fleet battle okay And it's becoming daylight right at the beginning of the battle. That's what I prefer this time. Okay, let's speed up. And oh god. <laughs> and it's starting with a knife fight once more. So you guys, full speed, all turn, all run away. Yeah, yeah they still have. They had a, sh a shit ton of, of battle cruisers to begin with. They have three. Now they are out of battleships and have five battle cruisers left. And they are building three and one and ships that are in um, refitting so back in the docks but not repairing aren't listed here so they might have one or two additional ones but they still have something left okay okay you guys full speed up here perfect first torpedo hit We're just running away for now. And now, wait, this was twilight, right? Yeah, okay. Now we can decrease the range a little once more. Maneuver wildly. Oh, they are charging in again themselves. Have I ordered the fleet? Yeah, I do. I did. Okay, good. So hopefully 
they will um, be torpedoed a little more but that one looked that Chesma looks somewhat slow and as we can see there's a lot of hits on the on him okay we need to turn to make sure if they shot torpedoes at those they aren't hitting and you can turn back up you can turn back down here yes rescue survivors for additional points okay sharply in you guys move up here there comes another battle cruiser charging right into the middle okay we are both turning away would be safer to order them to turn together that one could hit oh, i didn't damn it so it would be better to change to turn together because now they keep in line and that obviously makes it easier to hit them but i want the fleets to be somewhat organized and i hope my erratic changing of course is to, is enough to throw off their aim U turn. You turn back up. Let's see. Where are their battleships? Should be somewhere up there. that DD still survives we need to turn he might have torpedoed okay insane how many how often I have hit him okay finally now ho you guys hold your fire for 10 minutes and I have no idea where they went maybe there let's try sights an unknown ship okay so up here are some more wait what is this guy doing here that means if he came from from the east it would it might indicate that there are significant forces in the east I think so let's just try to find them because I don't think I've sunk any single no I, I haven't seen anyone any of their capital ships go down so far I only sunk two destroyers not really something to brag about but if I can't find them I'll have a hard time sinking them um sites an unknown ship okay oops that is close we are day what is the vi oh god visibility 2400 yards heavy rain okay that explains it oh. brown schweig is it being hit by a torpedo yeah not a big surprise if we're fighting at this distances okay um i think i'm gonna call it a day no point in losing capital ships when I'm fighting at, at three four thousand yards or oh, should I yeah that's another destroyer I think yeah let's just call it a day I don't see a point in forcing that battle heavy rain is just too tough So Hansa is being hit by a dud torpedo. That's good. Or I mean, I don't know. That's better than a torpedo that does damage. Vladimir class seems to be sunk, and that actually seems to be a cruiser. That's good. Or seems to be sinking. That is too agile for a ship that's worth shooting. Now we are back at ten thousand. Okay, so I think we can actually re-engage. 
10,000 yards is at least some visibility. How is the Bornschweig doing? I think it should detach it. I'm going to detach it, send it back, and have the others go back to full speed. Try catching up with something worth shooting at. Okay, back to 10 knots. And you could go to Wilhelmshaven. I have no idea why this time Helgoland isn't considered to be a harbor, because it usually is. But who knows? What's the reason here? Okay, so something up there. They are wasting more torpedoes on ships that are already sunk. Nothing here yet. Okay, maybe, maybe we don't find anything anymore idea well unless if if the Braunschweig survives which I hope uh, and I mean it wasn't seriously damaged yeah it should be fine maybe let's go down a little more in speed if the Braunschweig doesn't sink then it should be a, a victory I mean I'm not sure about the victory points because obviously damaging a battleship gives you a lot of points but in total at least I haven't sunk a major combatant and I don't even think I've lost a destroyer so while they are seem to while they seem to get away it's fine oh man now the visibility is good the problem is I have no idea where they went so I didn't lose anything they lost two cruisers yeah I guess that's fine yeah up here I would have expected them to go somewhere here, I guess, because I reasoned they would act somewhat realistic, which might be to go to the closest harbors. But yeah, them going up there, no chance of finding them. Major victory, two more prestige. That's, that's awesome. Okay, so points are fairly... The first fighter, okay. So the points are fairly... Um, decisive right now um, but the war isn't over yet and we have another coastal raid um, but I think oh, it's with battleships so I might I might face something worth worth shooting at in this this battle anyways um, we have reached over 50 minutes so I think it is about time to call it a day um, I hope you enjoyed it. Next time I will hopefully be able to finish that war against Russia and maybe take the Baltics before that. We'll have to see. The invasion so far hasn't triggered. Um, I have suffered losses, but I think none of them were too tough. And this war should be, should be won pretty soon. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please consider following and subscribing. Um, thank you and see you next time.